It's been a controversial movement since it sprang to prominence with local election success three years ago. But now, 13 senior members of the far-right Golden Dawn Party, including its leader, have been arrested on charges of founding a criminal organisation. The arrests follow the killing of an anti-fascist rapper by a man who told police he was a Golden Dawn supporter, which provoked protests across the country. The arrests have sparked counter-protests, as Paul Mason reports. For Greek neo-Nazis, an unusual feeling. Dismay. The police force long criticised for ignoring them has turned on them. And for their leaders, handcuffs. Nikolaos Mihaloliakos, leader of the far-right Golden Dawn Party, arrested on charges of forming a criminal organisation. Another MP, whose shop sold uniforms to the police, led away by the anti-terror squad. More than a dozen activists have been arrested, unlicensed weapons have been seized. The only thing I've got to say is that the Greek police, under the instruction of the independent Greek judiciary, did its duty to protect Greek democracy. But democracy here is stressed and using the criminal law to break up an elected party, a gamble. Four years ago, this party was getting just 20,000 votes. But in last year's general election, with the economy collapsing, they got close to half a million. And this for a party that makes no secret of its violent intent. But last week, one of their supporters was arrested for the murder of a left-wing musician known as Killer P. And the mood changed. Today, the party's members rallied outside the police HQ, shouting for blood and honour. They've made parts of Athens no-go areas for migrants, and one MP who arrived to turn himself in said they're not done yet. When you have 15% in opinion polls, because that is what they show, then whatever they do can't stop us. They had to get rid of police and intelligence officers before they could arrest us. There has indeed been a clear out. Last night, the boss of a key intelligence unit resigned. Two police chiefs have also quit their jobs, with eight more reassigned, including the head of the riot police. And even supporters of today's crackdown know the legality of it will be scrutinised. We are essentially in uncharted waters, legally, legally speaking. Uh, this is a new thing. Uh, the Golden Dawn has, has essentially been cons is essentially being considered a criminal organisation on behalf of the Greek justice system, but it still has representation in Parliament. So it's still a question, it's open-ended, how to deal with this in the next coming months. At the end of the day, it will be a huge issue on wh whether we should allow the Golden Dawn to continue being represented in future elections. This is the man whose murder sparked the current crisis. The Greek political establishment had tolerated a lot from Golden Dawn. Today's moves were forced by the severity of the backlash and fears of what might come.